Beach FM, locals talking to locals. I just love civic awards and civic honours. I have the great um, pleasure of, of emceeing the Carpety Vision a version of the um, uh, the uh, Civic Awards, and it really is a wonderful night where we can salute people who are contributing to our organisation, to our communities, to making life better. And recently, the Hora Whenua had its Civic Awards, and we have one of the recipients of the awards right on the end of the telephone with a bit of luck. I can say good morning and welcome to the programme to Pam Good. Hello, Pam. Hello, John. Pam, it's lovely to talk to you. And um, as I was saying, um, I just came across this notice on the notice board. Could you please put our food bank appeal on the community notices? Three supermarkets, Live in New World, Live in Pack and Save Multi Mart, or Mini Mart, and Live in Countdown will have volunteers collecting from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And uh, blah, blah, blah. thanking you, Pam Good, convener for this collection. You get yourself involved in a lot of stuff, don't you, Pam? I certainly do. I absolutely believe in doing right by and for the community. Well, you certainly do that. Do you think this community service ethic that you obviously have came from your time as a teacher in the live-in area and, and getting to love the community and, in fact, frankly, knowing many of the people in the community? I certainly did, yes. I, I do know lots of people and I have been and have got myself very involved. You in sure lots do. Of things. Lots of things. Now, one of those was Super Grands. I think it's got a new name now, but Super Grands was a, a great idea that, uh, as I understand it, attempted to pass on the skills that had been accumulated by the, uh, the pre Cine generations to particularly young mothers to help them cope with family life. And, and that was one of your passions as well, wasn't it? It is. I have been involved for over five years now. I am the chairperson. We are Skills for Living, known as Skills for Living now. And we have a board of five people and four workers, um, managers in that run our programs and liaise with community service providers. And how many, how many uh, sessions? I seem to remember that there were classes, at least with super grands. So how many yes. people do you think you are helping right now with skills for living? Uh, well, it's ongoing. We have clients that come in off the street oh, yes. um, or are referred by other organisations. When we run classes, we do not have more than eight people six to eight so it makes it intimate and a good learning environment and we also do individual lessons and and, yeah for people that in in need well that's that's wonderful that that skills for living now you've been involved in that wonderful thing called the levin adventure park for quite some time haven't you i have i've actually been involved for 12 years and I have been the chairperson since Collis and Helen Blake uh, handed it over to yes. the community. Yes. I just love that part. <laughs> and it is just fantastic. And we're working to continue the development, develop it, sorry. Mm. And we have a new piece of equipment arriving in December. You won't miss it. It's 9.2 metres tall, Crikey. high climbing frame, and that will help to enhance our park. Oh, wonderful. And do you pop down there yourself every now and again just to see the kids having fun? I do. In <laughs> fact, I'm there a lot. We have uh, an event this Saturday evening. Am I allowed to talk Absolutely. about Absolutely. This? this is your time, okay. my dear. Go right for it. it. We have all the Christmas, it's called Christmas Lights for Christmas Night. Yes. And it's at the park, 6.30 to 9.30 this Saturday. And we have got masses of Christmas lights 
on the train shed, on the roof of the toilet block and the kiosk, mm. in the trees. People are, are to bring a picnic blanket and their tea, and we're going to have music, big bubbles. There's a photo booth where children can uh, have their photo taken with some funny hats and things on. And it'll be a great event, and the light will come on, and then that will be on every night until about mid-January. That's just wonderful. Now, that was down on my list of things to chase our people. I was going to attempt to have a chat about that on Friday, but you've done it for me now. So that's oh, just well, that's wonderful. Coming up yeah. on Saturday, we're really looking forward to that. Now, I'm going to be a bit busy on Saturday. Are you really? Food, food <laughs> bank appeal and oh, then yes. that. <laughs> oh, oh, God bless you, Pam. Just wonderful. Now, apart from this sort of doing stuff, I'm told that you are... Uh, a, uh, a fierce, a tenacious advocate is the word that I've heard. Tenacious. Does this involve you making presentations to those in power? Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean, when you advocate for you, I see that you've been involved in the Eastern and Central Community Trust as well, oh, yes. as a trustee. And, yes. of course, um, you're a trustee of the uh, Adventure Park, as you say, a chairperson. I imagine... And of Super Green Schools for Living as well. Yes, and yeah. you see, and I imagine that each of those organisations at some stage has had to make some kind of pitch, some kind of presentation to put forward their wares to get support to keep the jolly thing going because this is not easy to keep an organisation going, is it? It certainly isn't. Uh, for example, Skills for Living, we are continually advocating and applying for money to keep us afloit, but yes. we have to sell ourselves. Mm. Equipment at the Adventure Park, um, we have to apply for money for equipment yeah, because our only income is donations yes indeed there is no other income by the way, I uh, I was, um, in fact, I was manager of the very first radio station in Levin. And in oh, that capacity, God. I met Collis Blake when the Adventure Park was but a twinkle in his eye. And yes. uh, he was such a wonderful man, wasn't he? And he was just he completely was. selfless. Absolutely. And Helen also. Yes, indeed. The power yes. behind the throne, I suspect. Exactly. <laughs> Pulling the strings. <laughs> but uh, Collis was only too happy to have them pulled. He, 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 just wonderful. So there's, there's that aspect. You've got to keep that advocacy going. But, you know, the, the food appeal that we mentioned before, that, as I understand it, is in your capacity as a Rotary Club member. Exactly. That is. So you are a pr very proud Rotarian as well. I have been in Rotary. 17 years and I love working with youth mm. and I'm the youth director and I have been the youth director quite a few times um, I'm also an advocate for grandparents raising grandchildren oh. as we have a number a large number in our the Horofinua area of grandparents and even great grandparents my bringing gosh. up grandchildren. My gosh. So we have had a couple of fashion parades uh, which were very successful, two local businesses, and we all the money raised as goes towards the funds that the Rotary Club has for grandparents raising grandchildren, and we assist with, with all sorts of things, uh, like uh, camps and... Um, in swimming lessons, which are really important. Mm, absolutely, yes. And then we also have another scholarship that people who are in need of funding for their, their children can apply to as well. You're an inspiration, but, my dear. You really are. Oh, look, I just like being busy. I still do manage to do relief teaching. <laughs> <laughs> but people say that they, they cannot ring me up on the morning to get in advance. 
Right. So I could rearrange. <laughs> You're a bit busy. <laughs> You're very busy oh, yeah. calendar. Well, look, thank you so much for making some time in your calendar to have a wee chat with us. Uh, I'd just it's like to fine. express my admiration personally and on behalf of many, many listeners. Uh, we just love you, Pam. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. I think... Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Oh, it's been lovely, my dear. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, dear. 106.3 BGFM.